<clears throat> What's up guys? Welcome to Revline89. You know what today's video is? Today's video we are going to be testing out and reviewing a scanner. But first we have to get that cold start, don't we? Is it really a cold start though if it's 95 degrees out? <laughs> it's hot. Alright, let's get to it. What's up everyone? So today we are reviewing the SC204 CAN OBD2 and EOBD code reader. So this is a nice, small, sleek design. I've reviewed one of these on my other channel, but this is a different one. It's a smaller, but you can do so much stuff with this. In fact, if you got a check engine light, you can easily see what the problem is diagnose what the problem is and clear the code on your car and take your check engine far away. So this can do a ton of different things, but let's go ahead and demonstrate it. So it's very simple. You go ahead and locate your port. So you go ahead and you plug the device inside just like this. Once you have it plugged in, go ahead and turn your key to the on position. So you don't start the vehicle up, just to the on position. And now we can go ahead and press the check mark here and we can read the vehicle. And this thing will show you all kinds of different stuff, even your VIN and stuff related. So as you can see, we got eight different codes. So go ahead and press yes. Um, if you wanna erase what you previously stored from the last time you've done it. If it's your first time, then just go ahead and press yes. So here we can do read codes, erase codes, live data. So for the live data, you're gonna want your vehicle running. You can do f view, freeze frame, IM readiness, onboard monitor test, component test. Vehicle information, module pre present, or present, um, and unit of measure. So for you guys, once you go under read codes, we can do stored codes. What's nice about this is when you read the code, it actually tells you what it is. In the past, you would have to go look online, look on Google, or look through a book to see what your codes are. Then we can go ahead go through all of our different codes that we have. And we can then go back. Permanent codes, these are codes that are permanent, which are none, which is very good. That means other ones can be reset. These are pending codes. We can go back to that. Let's go under the stored codes for a moment here. Okay, let's go back, back. Go under erase codes, go to yes. Press any key to continue. Codes are erased, read codes, stored codes. There are no codes, they are erased. I'll put a link in the video description where you guys can get this, but this is really nice. It's small, sleek, you can do so much things with it. I highly recommend it. It's uh, working great, and I've been playing with this off camera for probably about an hour now, just going through different stuff, and it's a lot of fun. It's definitely going to be a good asset to our vehicle. We can read some codes before 
we take the car in for an inspection, we can fix problems and then erase the codes. And if we fix the problem, the codes won't come back. So it'll pass inspection. It's just a great tool to have. And even if you don't have any check engine light, you can still go through your stats, you can read different stuff. Um, and you can still do a lot of different stuff. You know, you can go.